Hello, and welcome back to FDN News. I'm Ryan Holzapple. And I'm Daniel Johansson. The Huntington Phil program is back at it again. Capstone students and faculty teamed up with professionals from around the country this past week, test driving a story they hope will one day become a feature film. It's a major step into tomorrow for Huntington University's film program. Overhill Manor, Huntington's next feature film, is a comedy about an unlikely friendship between a Vietnam veteran in a retirement home and a high school senior who has been sentenced to community service for a prank gone horribly wrong. You do not want to hear that, right? Cut. The proof of concept film went through principal photography last week and is expected to premiere on April 19th, alongside the university's second feature length film, Patterns. We're shooting for three days. This is day one. Uh, it's a little windy today, but God's blessed us with some sunshine. This renditioning is a 10-minute treatment that will be used to raise money for the feature-length version of this story. Later today, after lunch, we'll be going to the memorial part and doing some stunts. This project has given juniors like Smy Him the opportunity to work on a film set alongside mentors, as well as excitement for bigger things to come. I'm just blessed to be able to direct this film. Principal photography for the feature-length version of Overhill is projected to begin in May of 2025. Farmers took over Huntington last week in the hub. Agriculture majors, professors, and local organizations advertised to students at HU. They also held many events in support of the program here in Huntington and farming as a whole in the community. Leaders hoped this event would bridge the gap between ag majors and non-ag majors. There's this really big disconnect between those who are involved in ag and those who are not. But agriculture really affects everybody's lives every day. So we all need to have a small part in just a little bit of understanding. Many students attended the events and visited booths throughout the week. Student plan events are common around campus. But one of the most well-known events all semester wrapped up last week as students took part in Seek Week. Students gather to worship in the choir room and listen to podcasts in the library, all for an event aimed at bolstering chapel credits and growing closer to God. This event impacts students at HU in many ways. I think Seek Week, it's a great thing, especially if you're kind of falling behind in chapel credits like I was. Normally, I don't really go to these kind of things, but I heard that Seek Week was going on, and I thought I might give it a shot. The planners of these events also feel the impact of Seek Week. So I think it's a great opportunity to just show love and uh, consideration for all those around campus, uh, especially for those who maybe don't get it as much as, as others. The average experience for students here in Huntington University and their spiritual life will happen in here in the auditorium. However, sojourners decided they need to get a little bit more creative on how they spread the word. And what better way than in a new location? I feel like it's more intimate. You're closer with your uh, peers and you're closer with just each other. So I think it gives a unique, a unique twist on worship. Not only does this event provide students with a chance to grow closer to God, but it also provides the sojourners on campus a chance to take up a bigger role and practice leading and sharing their faith to their fellow classmates. It's really nice being able to be like hands-on with it, but it's definitely difficult to maintain that like throughout the semester. It keeps going every semester and you can count on students being there, whether it be for the chapel credits or the spiritual growth. The Junior Impact Project team is bringing a brawl to Huntington. TV production majors have teamed up with Wrestling Theology Fellowship, a Christian pro wrestling group, to present the Ring of Redemption. Eight wrestlers will be competing to enter the fatal four-way and become the champion of the Ring of Redemption. Some of the competitors include Chuckles the Clown, Ace Perry, and Adam Rogers. I wanted to share like wrestling with everyone else because a lot of people have like a misconception like, oh, it's fake, oh, it's like stupid, and like. Yes, it's those things, but like there's a fun art to it. If you're into like so that sort of stuff, I think it's a night for you. And I think it's a night to like to push your boundaries a bit, what you're comfortable with. The event takes place on April 12th at Life Church in Huntington. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the event starts at 7. For more information and to purchase tickets, go to WrestlingTheology.com. I, I, I used to think wrestling was kind of silly, but you know, spending some time in right third, I, I came around to it. I came around to it over time. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy that they're bringing wrestling to HU, but you know what else is crazy is that there's madness in March. The NCAA men's and women's basketball tournament is well on its way into the Sweet 16 this weekend. 
Teams like NC State and Clemson are writing Cinderella stories as we speak. The only Indiana team left is one seed Purdue. The Poilermakers take on Gonzaga Friday with the tip-off around 7.30 p.m. HU's DMA program took home more than a dozen statewide awards this past Saturday. Students and faculty traveled down to Indianapolis for the annual IASB award ceremony, where college students throughout Indiana were recognized for their talents in the media field over the past year. The Huntington Digital Media Arts program placed first in the state for cinematography, short film, and animated story. State leaders honored more than a dozen film, television, and animation students for their hard work. Forrester Radio has launched its 13th season of its podcast, Rooted. Forrester Radio is a, a campus radio station play, playing Christian rock and alternative music. Rooted is a podcast centered around faith-based conversations with the Forrester family. Students in the program take shifts hosting the station. Listeners can also tune in for talk show segments such as sports-focused HU Overtime and more. Tune in to 105.5 FM in Huntington or go to ForresterRadio.com to listen online. Trump and Biden are the presumptive nominees for the upcoming November election. Despite the momentum, a recent poll by the Pew Research Center shows that one in four Americans disprove of both candidates. Younger voters are more disapproving of both than their older counterparts, and only 2% of voters have favorable views of both candidates. Voters looking for a third-party option will find RFK Jr. running for the independent ticket, with recently announced VP Nicole Shanahan. Dave Calhoun, the CEO of Boeing Company, announced that he is stepping down from the position at the end of the year. The announcement comes amidst the slew of recent accidents that have happened with Boeing's airplanes. Throughout the past five years, there have been some mishaps with Boeing's aircrafts. Two crashes of the 737 MAX have left hundreds dead in 2018 and 2019, and door plugs coming undone on the same aircraft have recently caused quite a scare. These accidents have caused many groundings and $31 billion in losses. Early Tuesday morning, a cargo ship lost power and collided into a main support for Baltimore Key Bridge. This video shows the moment when the cargo ship lost its engine and electrical and hit the bridge support of Patapsco River. Six victims have been identified, construction workers working on the bridge at the time of its collapse. Governor Wes Moore of Maryland promises that they will use every asset to make sure families find a sense of closure. And finally tonight, Sonic has launched a solar drink. Sonic is introducing a new drink that people will enjoy during the solar eclipse. The new drink is the blackout slush flo float. <clears throat> the beverage is topped with white soft serve and blue and purple galaxy themed sprinkles. Everyone who buys one gets a free pair of eclipse glasses to watch it safely. The blackout slush float will be available from March 25th to May 5th in participating locations. That is all we have for today. Thank you for joining us on FDN News. We will see you next week.